In this video, we use trig ratios to solve problems involving bearings, specifically a true bearing, a direction given as the clockwise angle from north using three digits. North is given the true bearing of 0, 0, 0 degrees, so this direction, which makes a 45 degree clockwise angle from north, has a true bearing of 0, 045 degrees. And this direction with a 305 degree clockwise angle from north has a true bearing of 305 degrees. We use bearings in navigation contexts to describe the direction of travel. In this problem, a plane departs an airport at A on a true bearing of 240 degrees. The plane continues on this bearing for a distance of 100 kilometers from the airport. How far west of the airport is the plane at this location? By drawing a right-angled triangle around the plane's flight path, the distance west is this side, x. And when we subtract this 180-degree angle from the bearing, we're left with a 60-degree angle in the triangle. So we can use a trig ratio to work out side x, as we have one side and an angle. We label the relevant sides, the hypotenuse and the opposite, and with these two sides, we choose the sine ratio. Substituting the values, we write sine 60 degrees equals x over 100. Then multiply both sides by 100 to get x by itself. And finally, using a calculator gives x equals 87 kilometers. And so the plane is 87 kilometers west of the airport at this moment in time. In this example, a boat docked at point X will be heading towards a beach at point Y. The grid lines run north to south and east to west and are drawn at one kilometer intervals. What bearing must the boat travel to arrive at the beach at Y? Since the bearing is the clockwise angle from north, we need to find this angle. We can draw this horizontal line crossing four squares, and so four kilometers long, and this vertical line crossing three squares, and so three kilometers long. When we subtract this 90 degree angle from the bearing, we're left with angle A in the triangle. And since we know two of the sides, we can use a trig ratio to calculate this angle A. We know the side opposite, and the side adjacent. And so with these sides we choose the tangent ratio. Substituting the values we write tangent A equals 3 over 4. And we use the inverse tangent function on a calculator to work out angle A, which gives us 37 degrees to the nearest degree. Now the bearing will be 90 degrees plus 37 degrees. So, the bearing of y from x is 127 degrees. Finally, this example involves an orienteering course that starts at A. The first leg heads on a bearing of 48 degrees for 370 meters. At the control point B, the course heads on a bearing of 120 degrees for 495 meters until it reaches control point C. If control point C is exactly due east of the starting point A, how can we calculate the distance of C from A? Drawing a line from B heading south will cut the line AC at 90 degrees, intersecting at point X. We now have two right-angled triangles which we can use to calculate the distance AX and XC. But we first need to find an angle in each of these triangles. Here we have alternate angles, and so this angle equals 48 degrees. And here we have angles on a line which add to 180 degrees, and so this angle is 60 degrees. Now in this right-angled triangle, where we're interested in the hypotenuse and the opposite, we can use the sine ratio. And in this triangle, we're also interested in the hypotenuse and the opposite, so we can again use the sine ratio. Rearranging for the unknown values and using a calculator 
gives AX equals 275 and XC equals 430. And adding these together gives the required distance AC equals 705. And so point C is 705 metres due east of the starting point A.